Hello students, my name is Neerthi Said and thanks for watching Edipedia Word videos. My topic for the presentation is blood vessels. The blood vessels form the conducting system or the pipeline through which the blood flows. And the study of blood vessels is called angiology. Angion means vessel and logos means a study. So the study of vessel is known as angiology. The major blood vessels are arteries, veins and capillaries. So there are three major types of blood vessels. Okay. So, the type of blood vessels are of three types, arteries, veins and capillaries. This is the diagrammatic representation of artery and this is the diagrammatic representation of veins. And this is the representation of capillaries. As you can see in arteries, the, there is an outer layer, there is a muscle layer, there is an elastic layer. Elastic layer is only found in artery and not in veins. Okay. And walls. Walls are found in veins and not in the artery. So this is the, this is like you can say distinguishing feature of veins. Okay. But uh, both has inner layers. So outer layer, muscle layer and uh, inner layer. It is found in both okay that is artery and veins but elastic layer is only found in artery and uh, walls are found only in veins okay now let us know artery in detail they show following characters first they carry blood from heart to different organs of the body please note that it is one of the most important point of arteries that they carry blood from heart to different organs of the body. Second, they carry oxygenated blood except pulmonary artery which carries deoxygenated blood from heart to lungs. Okay. And the third that they are usually situated deep inside the body. That means they are deep seated. Okay. Fourth is that they are very thick walled with narrow lumen. Narrow lumen means space. They are elastic and they are without walls and blood flows through them rapidly under high pressure. Arteries, they divide into arterioles and the arterioles, they further divide into capillaries. Okay. So, um... You can say that arteries are the vessels which carry blood away from the heart. They are thick wall vessels. They are elastic in nature that have narrow lumen and they are deep seated in the body parts and have no walls in them. And the blood flows uh, through the artery carry oxygenated blood in them except pulmonary artery as I have told you uh, which carries deoxygenated blood to the lungs. Okay. Now. The average diameter of an artery is about 500 millimeter. Okay. And the, the histologically an arterial wall is made up of following three layers. Which are those? First is your tunica externa. Tunica externa is also known as tunica adventitia. Second is your tunica media. And third is your tunica intima. Okay. So, uh, the tunica interna is composed of endothelial cells and the tunica media which is the middle layer is composed of elastic and the simple muscle fibers. As I have told you this is the only distinguishing feature uh, that it has uh, uh, elastic fibers and muscle fibers. Uh, okay. And the tunica adventitia. Adventitia is your uh, external layer. Okay. Tunica externa is composed of white connective tissue and elastic fibers and the smallest branches of an artery are called arterioles as i have told you that arteries divide into arterioles and the arterioles they further divide into capillaries okay so the smallest branch of an artery are called arterioles am i clear students Now, this is the representation of artery that they carry blood from heart 
to the other tissues. They contain oxygenated blood except pulmonary artery that carries deoxygenated blood okay and their smaller branches are called as arterioles okay so this is your artery and uh, this is your arteriole which is the smaller branch of artery and they when they further divide then they form capillaries and then when capillaries they uh, join they adjoin and they form venule venule is the smaller branch of veins and when many veins ve many venules they combine they form veins okay this is the wall which is a distinguishing feature which is only found in veins and not in the arteries but the three layers uh, tunica externa tunica media and the tunica intima are found in both that is artery and veins okay and this is your capillary okay this is your capillary which we'll be discussing in detail So, I have told you that arteries have three layers. First is your tunica intima. Okay. It is the innermost layer which is made up of flattened endothelial cells and the elastic membrane. And the second is your tunica media. It is the thickest middle layer. It is made up of circularly arranged smooth muscle fiber and elastic fiber. Okay. And now comes tunica externa. It is also known as tunica adventitia. It is the outermost layer of the artery which is made up of connective tissue with collagen and elastin fibers. It also has small blood vessels called vasa vesora which supply blood to the arterial wall. Okay. Now look look here students this is the uh, representation of artery it has a tunica externa it has tunica media and it it is a green one is your tunica intima which is made up of flattened endothelial cells and elastic membrane okay and inner to tunica intima there is a basement membrane let us know veins in detail okay the arterioles capillaries they join to form venous capillaries which then join to form venules and finally when many venules join they form vein okay they carry blood from different organs of the body to the heart second they carry deoxygenated blood except pulmonary veins which carry oxygenated blood from lungs to the heart Third, they are usually situated superficially and appear as bluish vessels under the skin. Okay. They are very thin walled with broad lumen, less elastic and provided with internal walls. As I have told you, internal walls are the distinguishing features of veins and, not, and that is not present in arteries. So, the walls, they prevent backflow of blood because blood flows through them slowly and under low pressure. Fifth is capillaries when they unite, then they form venules and the venules, they unite to form vein okay histologically wall of vein is also made up of three layers first is your tunica externa or tunica adventitia and second is your tunica media and third is your tunica intima okay so uh, as I have told you that they carry blood towards the heart, they contain deoxygenated blood except pulmonary vein and in arteries exception was pulmonary artery remember students and veins they have very smaller branches as I have told you in my earlier slide that they have venules and venules when they join then they form veins okay so they are also of three layers but tunica media is comparatively thin this is the uh, diagrammatic representation of vein this is the outer course these are the smooth muscles or the elastic muscle it is a basement membrane and this is the endothelium and these are the internal wall which prevent the back flow so the tunica externa is uh, 
the outermost layer of the veins which is made up of connective tissue with collagen and the elastin fiber okay second comes your tunica media it is the thinner than that in artery it is made up of circularly arranged smooth muscle fiber and elastic fibers and the tunica intima it is the innermost layer which is made up of again flattened endothelial cells and elastic membrane okay now comes capillaries okay the arterioles as i have told you they are the smaller branches of the arteries so the arterioles they further divide into smaller vessels called meta arterioles which have a diameter of around 70 mm which in turn divide into capillaries okay they are the thinnest blood vessels and their wall are formed of single layer of endothelial cells these form a connective link between arterioles and veins i have shown remember i have shown uh, a diagrammatic representation how uh, vein and artery is connected with capillaries okay so they were discovered by Marcello Malfichai in 1661 and the endothelium allows endothelium remember uh, which is uh, the innermost layer that become that is made up of flattened endothelial cells so the endothelium it allows the exchange of materials like nutrients co2 and o2 hormones and waste products between the blood and the surrounding tissue cells through the tissue fluid okay so um, this is your artery this is your capillary and this is your vein so vein uh, uh, capillaries they are a connecting link between arteries and vein okay so in tissues arterioles they divide into thin walled and single layered vessels they are called capillaries and they unite to form venules okay uh, they form a dense network in the organs and join an artery with vein. They are 4 to 10 millimeter in diameter. Okay. They lack tunica adventitia and tunica media. Remember the outer and the middle layer, they lack it. And the wall is made up of flat squamous endothelial cells and their lining is called as endothelium. Some of the capillaries like kidney, like in kidney, small intestine, endocrine glands, they are fenestrated. Okay, they are fenestrated. Okay. Now, uh, functionally, capillaries, they facilitate exchange of materials. For example, respiratory gases, nutrients, excretory products between blood and tissue through lymph which oozes out of their walls. Second, they increase surface area of diffusion by forming elaborate network. And third, they allow enough time for exchange of materials as blood flows very slowly through them. Okay. So, this comes to an end. Thank you and keep watching Edupedia word videos.